Hello and welcome to our video. Many of us experience the discomfort of poor circulation, whether it's that tingling sensation, cold feet, swelling, or the unsightly appearance of varicose veins. It's a common issue, but thankfully, nature has provided us with solutions. Among them are some incredible herbs that can enhance circulatory health. In this journey, we'll delve into each herb, uncovering its unique properties, how it benefits our circulatory system, and how you can incorporate these natural wonders into your daily routine. Let's get started. Our first herb is ginkgo biloba. This herb isn't just ancient, it's a living fossil having thrived on Earth for over 200 million years. Now, why is it so special for circulation? Let's find out. Ginkgo is most famed for its unique compounds, flavonoids and terpenoids. Flavonoids offer antioxidant properties, protecting your blood vessels from damage caused by free radicals. Terpenoids, on the other hand, improve blood flow by dilating blood vessels and reducing the stickiness of platelets. Ginkgo is excellent for peripheral vascular disease, which affects circulation in the limbs. It can alleviate symptoms like pain when walking and coldness in the feet and legs. Ginkgo biloba can be taken as a supplement, typically recommended at a dosage of around 120 to 240 milligrams per day, divided into two or three doses. It can also be consumed in tea form. Drinking one to two cups of ginkgo biloba tea per day is typically safe for most adults. If you're on medications like blood thinners or antidepressants, it's wise to consult your doctor before adding it to your routine, as it can interact with certain drugs. Next on our list is horse chestnut, an herb with a long history of use in improving leg health. Horse chestnut isn't just another tree in the park. It's a potent remedy for circulatory issues. Horse chestnut contains a compound called iacin, which has been shown to strengthen the walls of the veins. This is crucial for people dealing with varicose veins and chronic venous insufficiency. It reduces swelling and improves blood flow, alleviating discomfort in the legs. The magic of horse chestnut lies in its ability to reduce inflammation and increase venous tone. This means that it can help prevent the pooling of blood in the legs, a common issue when you have poor circulation, reducing symptoms like leg swelling, pain, and fatigue. You can find horse chestnut in various forms, like oral supplements or topical creams. The standard dose for circulatory issues like varicose veins is often around 300 milligrams of horse chestnut seed extract twice a day. It's important to remember that while horse chestnut is beneficial, it should be used carefully. People who are on blood thinning medication or who have kidney or liver problems should consult their doctor before using it. Our third herb is cayenne pepper. Cayenne is loaded with a compound called capsaicin, which gives it spicy flavor and its health benefits. When consumed, it interacts with a receptor in our body known as TRPV1, which helps regulate temperature and pain sensations. This interaction triggers the release of nitric oxide in the blood vessels, leading to vasodilation, the widening of blood vessels, which enhances blood flow to the extremities. This process can help alleviate symptoms like cold feet or numbness in the legs. Cayenne pepper can be incorporated into your diet in various ways, from sprinkling the spice in your meals to taking it in capsule form. It's versatile and adds a kick not only to your dishes but also to your vascular health. While cayenne is beneficial, it's important to start with small amounts, especially if you're not used to spicy foods. If you are finding this information helpful, please take a moment to tap the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn all notifications on to stay updated with our latest health and nutrition videos. Next on our list is ginger. Known for its zesty flavor, ginger also packs a punch when it comes to health benefits, particularly in boosting circulation. Ginger contains compounds like gingerols and shogols. These substances have a thermogenic effect, meaning they generate heat in the body. This warming effect is not just comforting, it also helps to increase blood flow, particularly to your hands and feet. The beauty of ginger lies in its natural ability to thin the blood, making it flow more freely. It's a gentle yet effective way to reduce inflammation and improve circulation, which can be particularly beneficial for those experiencing swelling or coldness in their extremities. Incorporating ginger into your daily routine is easy. You can enjoy it as a fresh root, 
steeped in hot water for a soothing tea, or as a dried spice in your cooking. Ginger supplements are also an option for a more concentrated dose, but consult with your doctor first before starting. Next on our list is Hawthorne. It's known for its cardiovascular benefits, helping to dilate blood vessels, improving the flow of blood not just to the heart, but also to the extremities, which includes your legs and feet. Hawthorne is particularly beneficial for people with reduced cardiac efficiency. By enhancing heart function and blood flow, it indirectly benefits the circulation in the entire body. This can lead to reduced symptoms of poor circulation like leg cramps, varicose veins, and swollen feet. You can find Hawthorne in various forms, as fresh, dried, a liquid extract, tea, or in capsules. The recommended dosage for circulatory health is typically between 300 to 600 milligrams of standardized extract daily, divided into two or three doses. You can consume Hawthorne berries directly. They can be eaten raw, cooked, or dried. They are also used in making jams, jellies, and syrups, which can be a tasty addition to your diet. Our sixth herb is a kitchen favorite with a mighty reputation for health benefits, garlic. This pungent bulb is not just for flavor, it's a potent ally for improving circulation. Garlic is rich in compounds like allicin, which have been shown to have a positive effect on blood vessel health. It works by helping to relax and dilate blood vessels, thereby improving blood flow, particularly to the extremities. The benefits of garlic go beyond just improved circulation. Its ability to reduce plaque buildup in arteries and lower blood pressure means it's also a heart-healthy choice. Better overall cardiovascular health translates to healthier circulation in your legs and feet. Incorporating garlic into your diet is easy. You can use fresh garlic in cooking or opt for aged garlic supplements if you're concerned about garlic breath. The key is regular consumption to reap its circulatory benefits. While garlic is generally safe, it does have blood-thinning properties. So, if you're on blood-thinning medication or have surgery scheduled, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider before increasing your garlic intake. Our seventh herb on the list is bilberry, a close relative of the blueberry. Known for its deep blue color and sweet taste, bilberry is also a powerhouse when it comes to improving circulation. Bilberries are loaded with anthocyanins, powerful antioxidants that are particularly good for vascular health. These compounds help to strengthen blood vessel walls and improve blood flow. This is especially beneficial for the capillaries in the legs and feet. The beauty of bilberry lies in its ability to enhance microcirculation. This means it helps the small blood vessels and capillaries work more efficiently, reducing symptoms like swelling, varicose veins, and the feeling of heavy legs. You can enjoy bilberries fresh, dried, or in the form of extracts and capsules. The common dosage is between 80 to 160 milligrams of standardized bilberry extract twice daily. Last but certainly not least on our list is butcher's broom. This herb may have a peculiar name, but its benefits for circulation are serious business. Butcher's broom contains compounds like ruscogenins, which have powerful effects on the circulatory system. These compounds work by tightening blood vessels and improving their elasticity, which in turn enhances blood flow, especially to the legs and feet. Its ability to strengthen blood vessel walls and reduce inflammation can significantly alleviate symptoms like swelling, varicose veins, and the sensation of heaviness in the legs. Butcher's broom can be taken in capsule form or as a tea. It's a great option for those looking for natural ways to support their vein health, especially after long periods of standing or sitting. A typical dosage is about 100 to 300 milligrams of butcher's broom extract, taken three times daily. As always, consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially if you have high blood pressure or are on medication for circulatory issues. Butcher's broom can interact with certain medications and conditions. And there we have it, a fascinating journey through the world of herbs and their remarkable benefits for improving circulation in our legs and feet. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more wellness wisdom. We're curious to hear about your experiences, so drop a comment below if you've used any of these herbs or if you have other suggestions for natural circulation boosters. Thank you for joining us today. 
Stay vibrant, stay healthy, and keep nurturing your body with the best that nature has to offer. Take care, and we'll see you in our next video.